everybody! Limpets are inconspicuous mollusks, hanging on firmly to the rocks, fighting the waves to stay attached between the tides. They are often covered with algae, making them even harder to notice. However, the limpets are truly fascinating creatures with interesting behavior and beautiful shells. We will try to prove this to you by demonstrating the shells and revealing cool facts. Limpets are territorial. They graze algae on the rocks and push away competitors. There are underwater gardens of limpets in waters near Africa, where each limpet has certain areas under control. They graze freshly grown algae and even naturally fertilize them with their waste. To scrap the algae off the rocks, limpets use thousands of tiny iron teeth attached to a special organ called radula, which is basically a tongue with multiple denticles. The pattern in which those denticles are organized is often unique. Thus, scientists sometimes have to look at the snail's iron smile under a microscope to distinguish the species from each other. The limpets can make small, shallow holes in the rocks, a sort of base to hang out between the feeding trips. This helps to stay in place and minimize loss of moisture. At the same time, plate limpets are known to move up and down on the rocks following the tide. The profile of the shell depends on the place where the mollusk lives. Flat shells form at low tide areas, subjected to strong waves. The bumpy and tall shells are thought to form when the limpet lives at high tide areas, where the higher ratio of volume to surface helps to preserve water. Rough limpets have serrated shells and distinct ribs, really beautiful shells with fine and sharp starry pattern. Their appearance is tough, and perhaps this is why we call them rough. All specimens are from the Pacific coast of Central California, and species are identified to the best of our knowledge. If you are a specialist and noticed a mistake, please leave a comment with the correct name of the species. Conical shell as a useful adaptive feature was developed by mollusks from several evolutionary lines. So, the common name limpet may refer to a quite different species. There are limpets with or without a hole on the top. The hole is called a keyhole, and the species that have it are called keyhole limpets. The water is directed from the edges of the shell towards the mollusk gills for oxygenation and exits the shell from the keyhole, which also used to get rid of the waste. The limpets without the keyhole are called true limpets. Some keyhole limpets have certain symbiotic worms living in mollusk's mantle cavity. This worm can get out and bite a sea star. Sea stars, by the way, are the major predator for limpets. Just imagine, for limpets, those cute, slow-moving sea stars are actually a creeping horror, real-life death stars. Another strategy against sea star is spreading the mantle so wide that the sea star can't grab the shell and detach it from the rocks. Volcano keyhole limpets have pink or purple color. Interestingly, the larva of the species has a spiral shell without a keyhole. Not all limpets are vegetarians. Some species are carnivorous. For instance, those belonging to genus Diodora feed on sponges. Another interesting fact is that some species, for instance, slipper and owl limpets, can change the gender during growth. They start as small males and after a few years become females when they grow large. Limpets come in different shapes and sizes. Most of them live on rocks, but there are some that stick to the grass. They usually have elongated shells. The green and brown coloration helps to stay indistinct from the seaweed. Here is a white cap limpet. The second word in the scientific name, mitra, means cap in Latin. It can also be slightly pink. The shells of a white cap limpet are often covered with coralline algae, which looks like crust. I guess this makes up for being white and may serve as camouflage. 
Most of the limpets are between one and two inches, but they can reach considerable sizes of almost four inches. This shell belonged to a quite large mollusk. Even with the edge broken off, it measures two and three fourths inches. It's a giant owl limpet. Sometimes, smaller limpets can be spotted on top of a large owl limpet, grazing algae from the back of a giant. For tens of thousands of years, limpets were a staple food for humans. No wonder, most of the body is one large muscle creating a strong suction force. Archaeologists regularly find shells of limpets while excavating ancient coastal settlements. This is another limpet that lives on the lower parts of kelp, which is a brown algae with a long stem. The limpets can also be used for jewelry. A keyhole limpet uses a protein called hemocyanin to carry oxygen inside the body. Instead of iron, like in human hemoglobin, Hemocyanin contains copper as an oxygen-binding atom. Hemocyanin is used as a carrier protein in anti-cancer vaccines. Cancer-specific antigens are being attached to large hemocyanin molecules. The contact of these antigens with immune cells stimulates cellular responses, resulting in the killing of tumor cells. Thanks for watching! Do not forget to subscribe if you liked the video, and good luck! Senor, senor, car avec les soldats. Il est torreros, avec son tendre. Pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête. Le cirque est plein d'automates. Le spectateur est dans la tête. Set on bell, a crap like horse. A pastrope, who say to Paja, who says she's just a lucky red. Cause a fete de courage, say the fete de chandica. Hello, unguarded. Hello, hello. Torreador, on God, Torreador, Torreador, a soldier, bien, we soldier, combatant, Colonel Noir, Terragor, a Colonel Mortato, Torreador, Lamour, Lamour, Tato. Silence, on fait silence, à quoi se passe-t-il? Le décrucifiant, le décrucifiant, le tourneau s'élance en bande.